Hey everybody. So a few months ago I was prompted to create a map of events that have taken place along Interstate 35 and this is a stretch of highway that essentially divides the entire United States in half. And since then the map somehow resonated <laughs> and taken on a life of its own and while you know I'm glad that it has um, it, it's not really um, anything that I've done special is just a series of coincidences that I've gathered together and as such more has happened since then with the package bombings in Austin that um, I needed to add to this list and so a couple of shout outs to Frank from Maravi and Lauren from Twilight Language for taking notice of the map and inspire me to do this video so of course their links are in the description um, and please get them a look if you have a chance but um, what we're going to look at are some of the events that have happened along the stretch of interstate and in so doing kind of keep in mind that you may remember one or two of these events in fact you likely will so um, they seem to be seared into consciousness and I'm talking about human consciousness so no matter where you reside in the world uh, this isn't exclusive to the memory of those just in the US but it goes on a global scale so pay particular attention to your own memory of these events and if um, you are alive when they took place then you're gonna have even more to um, to remember you can probably even remember what you ate but um, as we kind of go through this and I'm not going to go into each one of them. Uh, there's, there's just no point. You can pause the video and look for yourself. Um, but you'll immediately note that these yellow boxes include events that have occurred on I-35. That's Interstate 35. or very, very near it. And what's particularly significant to me about these events is the fact that they're seared into memory with the tag of poignantly being you know uh, remembered for example okay let me just throw one out um, you remember 9-11 that was the tag right remember Ruby Ridge and in the same way we're called on to kind of remember some of these events that fall along this dividing line of the United States remember the Alamo remember Waco, remember Oklahoma City, remember Waco and Oklahoma City were connected and that they shared the same anniversary. And if you were alive November 22nd, 1963, you might well remember um, where you were when JFK was assassinated in Dallas. So for whatever reason, we're called to remember these events as more than just kind of terrifying moments that changed our landscape, but also um, of shaping our current world view which kind of leads me into some other area of discussion and I think it's important to view this map as more than just a lot of dark information um, that we simply don't know how to process so I'm going to give you a takeaway from it that I think is important I encourage other um, opinions and comments and all that so without further ado let's look at this <clears throat> so we're called on um, to, well, let me just say, okay, so I think there is a part of an invitation to remember that encourages us to play around with some other ideas, okay? So we're venturing into the deep state of Oklahoma and Texas down this dividing line of the entire state, or United States of America, via Interstate 35. But as we also kind of um, look at this further, we can see this as an observer into the deep state of consciousness, which I think plays out in the physical world stage. Um, sort of like a central nervous system to the body. And I think these are storehouses and conduits and channels of extreme energy that sometimes just manifest in these dark ways through pain and scarring. Um, and so it's not really about real news versus fake news or what elite figure may have conspired to thwart public opinion. 
It's more about uh, the outward physical manifestation of a spiritual destructive force that has led to, or is led by, rather, fear and guilt and annihilation. You know, things that have long troubled the human condition. So, um, and not just in America, this is worldwide. So essentially, you know, if we recognize this, that there is an unfolding of these events that act as a dream within a dream, and and not only does it lend itself to the fact that we're long overdue for this spiritual healing to take place, but it's also um, evidence that we are co-creators in this flawed reality, and that we have a hand in manifesting these things um, all the time. So I, I strongly feel that this can be recognized, it can be changed, and therein lies the importance of the remembrance. So, um, you know, pause it if you want, take a look at it further, use it as you will. I, I have no copyright whatsoever on this stuff. Um, add to it, leave comments. I am very happy for other suggestions, and um, I look forward to them as a matter of fact. So. Good luck, soldier. Be well, and I hope you all have a great day.